Good afternoon, Beaverton High School. I'm Bethany Williams. And I'm Aiden, the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Welcome to BTV on Channel 3. Hey, Aiden, do you have a job? No, I'm trying to find one, though. Do you have any suggestions? No, I'm looking for one as well. I heard Maddie Gourlay has some good suggestions. Oh, yeah, she has some information about a job close to Beaverton. With so many high school students looking for jobs these days, it's good to know what your options are. With Dairy Queen being so close to Beaverton, it's a popular place for students to hang out as well as find employment. We wanted to look more into the relationship between Beaverton High School and Dairy Queen, so we headed across the street and interviewed Brandon McIntyre, a graduate of Beaverton High School. When did you start working at Dairy Queen? Uh, about two months ago, actually. Okay, that's pretty recent. Um, how often would you say you see high school age kids come into this res restaurant? Oh, easily every day after school, about 15 minutes after class lets out. All right. Um, would you say that's due to the fact that you're right across the street from BHS, or is there another reason that you think kids like to come here? Uh, I think kids like to come here because it's a nice place for when, if they're just uh, driving home or if their parents are picking them up, it's a nice place to come and hang out with their friends before all that needs to happen, or even before sports, activities, any of that, actions or those things. It's a nice place to come and hang out and just have a good time. What are pros and cons that you would say um, about working here maybe as a teenager? As a teenager, a pro is that you already start off with a great resume builder. That's something that I lacked and I had to fight to find, find a job and this was actually my first job. Um, it's also a great way to get a starting income, maybe get your first car, and it also has you up so that way you're independent later on in life. The cons is that it does take away from like your activities time and your friends time, but you can have a social life later in life. It's just you have to be able to it's, it's decide whether you want to dedicate your life now to something that is worth something or maybe spend a little more time on your social life and then mature in college and all that other stuff. What kinds of things maybe have you learned from working here? how to manage my time efficiently, how to multitask better. Um, I've actually learned a little bit more sense of camaraderie. I may have been in all these activities in high school, but you didn't have to really work with other people. You just had to uh, work, you had to work around them and they, you had to work towards the same goal. Here, you have to work with everyone in order to reach the same goal. Like there's no, if one person's slacking, then everyone's slacking. So that's really good. Those are some good lessons for a teenager to learn. Overall, would you recommend a job during the workforce? I definitely would. I mean, here it's really close to school. I mean, right after we have a lot of kids that right after school they come over and they start their shift and they get you know some good hours and they do their job and then they head home, do their homework, and then just go on. And it's not every day, but it's nice enough shifts and nice enough hours. Yeah, I would definitely recommend. Check that out, Aiden. Me too, Bethany. Getting a job would be a great New Year's resolution. That's right. New Year's is just around the corner. I had a great year. How about yours? It was good, but I'm looking forward in to bringing in the next year. I wonder what people liked about 2011. Reporter Stephanie Clark found out about what Beaverton students liked about this past year. Being myself for the full year. It'd probably be like the Ducks losing to the Trojans. I don't know. Let me see, give me a second. I'm trying to think here. Boys and boys. Uh, making beats. The human centipede. Nah, nah. <laughs> me making my mixtape. Uh, I'm entering high school. Getting to meet my grandma. <laughs> oh, getting back in shape. <laughs> getting back, getting back in shape. <laughs> like I ever got out of shape, huh? <laughs> so, you know, I mean, come on. <laughs> Being me. Still being me. <laughs> We're two in uh, 2012. That'd be better than 2011. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm looking forward to 2012 because I'm a graduate. That's gonna be tight. No more school. Yeah. Thank you. The end of the world. <laughs> All right. I'm ready for the new year now. What about you, Bethany? I think I am too, Aiden. So, Beavers, do you like the Rhythm Bees? Do you know their history? Here's reporter Min Pham with the story. 
So can you give us a brief history on Rhythm Bees? Yeah, so the Rhythm Bees started out um, about over 50 years ago, and it started with a group of girls that just wanted to try something new and um, learn new dances and come up with kind of something unique that's different from cheerleading or any other dance teams. Uh, what makes Rhythm Bees different from other dance teams? Um, well, we have to have our kick, uh, high kicks and splits, and we wear fishnets and briefs, and all of our uniforms are passed down throughout the years, um, and as well as all the... Uh, can you just start over that question? Okay. Oh, uh, oh, sorry. What makes Rhythm Bees different from other dance teams? Uh, rhythm Bees is different from other dance teams because we have the Rhythm Boys, um, which is always a fun tradition that we have, um, where the boys wear fishnets and briefs and learn a dance routine. And we also, all of our uniforms and routines are passed down throughout the years. Um, we also have high kicks and splits. Uh, explain the demerit system. Uh, demerits are if girls forget anything, um, such as uniforms, slippers, briefs, um, or they're late to practice or don't show up without a good enough excuse. Um, and if they get three demerits um, a week leading up to a dance, then they get cut. How many hours a week do you practice? Um, we practice every day um, till around four, and then during uh, during uh, like the week leading up to performances, we have morning practice starting at 6 um, and going to about 7, and then we have practice at 2.32 every day, um, which is like either on the football field or basketball field. How long does it take to perfect your team? Um, it depends on the dance um, and technique that we use. It can take up to like a month or a week. Um, <laughs> Do you have advice for girls who want to try out? Uh, well, Rhythm Bees is all about splits, so if you want to try out for the upcoming season, you should start working on that now. Okay. And then what made you want to be a Rhythm Bee? Um, I just love the tradition that it came with and um, the respect and among peers and teachers. And also, performing is a lot of fun. Alright, thank you very much. Wow, the Rhythm Bees have some pretty good moves. Hey, Bethany, are you in the giving mood? I give some every year. What did you give this year? I'm not sure yet. I don't know what to give. So let's take it to Beth Imus, who knows how to give the perfect gift. Beth Imus here asking the Beaverton High School community some questions about the upcoming holiday season. If you, if you could give a gift to anybody over the holiday season, who would you give it to? Well, if I was to give a gift, probably the best gift would probably be me. And if I were to give it to anybody, it would either be a uh, Neil Norgat or myself. Like, what would be better than one of me would be two. If I was two of me, this life would be perfect. If this life were perfect, there would be four of me. So let's hope we all spread the gift of me. I would get my mom some warm socks. For the holidays, I would give my dad a fishing pole. Okay, so I would give Occupy Portland a sense of focus. Like I said, that's a huge question. I'm going to do the standard um, world peace, but if you're talking on a more normal tone, give my daughter happiness at college because she's hating it right now. <laughs> I'd probably give my brother, I'd try and get him an interview or meet, have him meet Brett Favre because that's his favorite like his icon from when we were little, so yeah, I'm a sweet guy. And if I could give a gift to anybody, I would give talent to Lil Wayne. So what's your favorite part about the holiday season? Uh, definitely just kind of leaving all the petty school stuff behind and getting to appreciate your family and be close to everyone that's important to you. Uh, the cheer that occurs during the season. Everybody is just so happy and lively, so it's nice to walk around town and see all the decorations up. My favorite part about the holiday would be family time, having my chaotic family over. The best part about the holidays are the food and the family coming together. Uh, favorite thing about the holidays would be the snow. I like uh, snow angels, snowmen. Uh, snow pancakes, snow cones, I like snow, snow flakes, snow shoes, skiing, hot wheels. <laughs> I know what to give out this year. Me too, Aiden. I want to give music out. 
in winter break starts this Friday. Well, Beaverton, have a safe and happy holidays. I'm Bethany Williams. And I'm Aiden Count. Signing, Signing off. off.